Hey everybody, Melissa here. So have you ever been in LibreOffice Writer, Calc, or even Impress, and as you're saving your documents, you wish you could set a default location for them to save to? Well, you can, and it's so easy to do. I cannot wait to show you how this works, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm in LibreOffice Calc, but this process is going to be the same whether you're in Calc, Impress, or Writer. And the awesome thing is, is if you change it in one of your applications, it's going to change it in all of them. So what we're going to do is go to Tools, Options, and underneath Paths, look for My Documents. Now this is where it's defaulting to, but we can change that. If we click on Edit, it's going to bring us to the default, which is libraries and documents, and we can put it wherever we want. We can put it on our desktop, we can put it on our OneDrive, or any place else we want to put it. Now let's say I want to put this on my desktop. If we click on it, we do select, we tell it apply and OK. We go to File, Save As, and it's changed it to our desktop. Let's look at it in Writer. If we go to File, Save As, and it shows us it's saving to the desktop. Let's go to Impress. If we go to File, Save As, it shows it's saving to the desktop. So let me get out of all of these so we can do this again. So let's say we want to save it to our documents, but under a different folder name. If we go to Tools, Options, Paths, or Documents, Edit, and I'm going to go back down to my libraries and my documents. Now you can create a new folder in here, but I already have one created. So I'm going to select it. And now if you notice, it shows LibreOffice, Apply, and OK. If I go to File, Save As, it shows my path as LibreOffice. Let's go check and press. File, Save As. It shows it's LibreOffice. Let's go to Writer, File, Save As, and it's LibreOffice. And there you have it. Now you know how to set a default location for saving your documents so that you don't have to do it each and every time. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future tutorials. And be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.